Well, I've spent the last three days and nights watching and worrying as fire, huge amounts of fire, have consumed vast tracts of our mountainside. Worrying not only because I happen to live in a thatched roof house just on the lower slopes of what used to be known as Mason's Bear, which gave Musenberg its name, but our neighborhood watched powerless as we saw the flames sweeping down, destroying all the fainbors. And I suddenly thought, you know, it's quite a good analogy to what is actually happening within Kosatu, within the major labor movement federation, with it imploding. And just as the helicopters were sent in to water bomb the flames, so the ANC helicoptered in with bucket loads of diplomacy. But of course, in the end of the day, at the end of the day rather, you ended up with um, the destruction already done, the damage already done. But perhaps, you see, like Feinbos, Feinbos needs the fire in order to be able to regenerate. So perhaps, and I think we should hope this is the case, the destruction that appears to be taking place, the bitter infighting within Kosatu, will result in regeneration. Perhaps it was necessary. But for the unions, it's come at a very bad time, a time of austerity. Anyone who looked at the budget last week would realize that. And of course, this week, we've already had our first petrol price rise, fuel price rise, diesel up as well. I'm prepared to bet because obviously the 80 cents per litre that was announced by Finance Minister Nene in the budget last week onto fuel prices has not yet come through. That comes through next month. So I think we're in for perhaps another one rand on each litre. Now that is going to lead to increased tensions both in and around the trade union movement and that is not good for anyone. Only the most bigoted or short-sighted of employers would celebrate what is happening now within Kosata, within the largest labor federation. Because trade unions within our system are an essential balance between exploiter and exploited. They provide the stability that is actually necessary. And without that, we're going to be in trouble. But as things stand now, not to put too fine a point on it, it's a mess. But it's a mess we have to understand. So this is what I will concentrate on, I'll focus on in my Inside Labour column, which you can read on this platform, Fin24, tomorrow, and in print in the City Press business section on Sunday. And of course, always want your comments, your criticisms, whatever you wish to say about it. But before I go this week, I would like to pay homage to the firefighters, who are municipal workers, the professional firefighters, who have just been offered 4.4% as a wage increase by the local government organization Salga, which means an effective pay cut of about 2%. But I'd like to pay homage to them and to the volunteers because they've done an incredible job in saving lives and property throughout the Cape Peninsula. And I've seen, I'm sure you've seen it all over the country. And with that, that's all from me for this week. Cheers.